All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakakudas. We we'll give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Shir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing the personal work in truth and necessity. Okay. Title of this video is You Cannot Hide or Escape the Judgment of the Lord. Okay. Um. Because the Lord beholds everything, okay? Um, we get this scripture, Ecclesiasticus, um, chapter 16, verse 11. And if there be one stiff-necked among the people, it is marvel if he escape unpunished. For mercy and wrath are with him, he is mighty to forgive and to pour out displeasure. Okay, and the scripture says that the Lord is angry with the sinners every day. Okay, it says, as his mercy is great, so is his correction also. Okay, so the Lord is going to correct a lot of people. Now, in that correction, okay, I'm going to get uh, the definition for correction, okay, the action of or pro process of correcting something, okay, it says amendment, uh, rectification, rebuke, punishment, of bringing into conformity with a standard neutralization counteraction okay and all of these are different or, or, or good words to go into okay as far as the correction that the Lord is um <laughs> gonna have now you have something called a correctional officer Just want to see what that that word says, or what that what that means. Okay, a corrections officer is an officer responsible for the custody, safety, security, and supervision of inmates in a prison or any other correctional facility. These officers are also responsible for the care, custody. And control of individuals who have been arrested and are waiting trial. Okay, so the men of the Lord are correctional officers. Okay, and um, that's just the way that the Lord set it up. Okay, the Lord, um, you know, He gives the uh, he, he a lot of people out here are waiting for that trial. Okay, um, officer, a person holding the position of command or authority in the armed services in the merchant marine or, or on a passenger ship. Okay, um, a holder of a public, civil, or ecclesiastical office. <laughs> Get picture that ecclesiastical office. Okay, and we're reading the book of uh, Ecclesiasticus. Okay, it says provide with military officers, and guess what? The Lord has an army. Okay, and then in this army, okay, you have offices. Okay, so the men of the Lord are officers. Okay, and not only that, but correctional officers. Okay, so our job also is to correct. Okay with the authority that the Lord gave us okay but on a, on a, a deeper level the Lord beholds everything okay I'm gonna go back to, to, to Ecclesiasticus uh, 16 but I'm gonna get this uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 23 verse 19 such a man only fears the eyes of men and knows not that the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun. 
beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts. Okay, so nobody will be able to escape or, or hide from the judgment of the Lord. Okay, because the Lord sees everything. Okay. Um, and this is an example of, uh, you know, the Lord seeing everything. Well, I'm, before I go on to that, we get this. Jeremiah 23 and 24. Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall see, shall, that I shall not see him? Said the Lord, Yahweh, bless me outside. Do, do not I fill heaven and earth? Said the Lord. Okay, so the thing is that the people who come up against Israel or fight against Jerusalem, okay, the Lord sees that, okay, and um, is is written in the book of um, Acts, okay. get that Lord willing I can find the scripture I believe we said happily yeah well, basically, the the point is that um, there are men that the Lord set up, okay? Oh, right, there it go. Uh, um, this is the books book of uh, Acts, uh, five and thirty-eight, and it says, "And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone." For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of God, you cannot overthrow it. You got people that are trying to overthrow the truth. Okay? It says, lest happily you be found even to fight against God. Okay? Yahabba Shemiah Wasab. Okay? So a lot of people are fighting against the Lord and they don't, they don't understand it. You know, they're trying to overthrow this truth, okay? So the Lord sees everything. You can't hide, hide that. Um, this is Jeremiah 16 and 17. For my eyes are upon all their ways. They are not hid from my face. Neither is their iniquity hid from mine eyes. And first, I will recompense their iniquity and their sin double. Because they have defiled my land and they have filled my inheritance with the carcasses of their detestable and abominable things. Okay? So everything that Esau did or tried to cover up, okay, that's all going to be uh, brought to the forefront. Okay? Those, a lot of those people that was in slavery the slave owners you know they they lived and they they died okay you got people that you know depending on what side of the, the, the spectrum you on you know that actually believe that those people may be in heaven or whatever the case may be okay or that they're burning in hell forever but those the, the point is that you even have uh so-called slaves okay that was existing during that time and hey they they didn't have the opportunity to um to 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 really live a a a decent life okay so were they in heaven or hell these are are, are legit questions but the the fact of the matter is that the lord sees everything okay and that would be a good question to, to ask a, um, a Christian. Okay, are those people that are slaves on, slave owners, are they in heaven? 
<laughs> where where are those people at? They, uh, they believed in in Jesus. Okay, this is Jonah, one and two. Arise, go to. And this is what the Lord said to, to to Jonah. Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for for their wickedness has come upon up, up before me. But Jonah rose to flee onto Tarsus from the presence of the Lord, and went down to Joppa. And he found a ship going to Tarsus, so he paid the fare thereof and went down into it, and to go with them onto Tarsus from the presence of the Lord. So he tried that he tried to go hot. It says, But the Lord sent out a great wind into the sea, and there was a mighty tempest in the sea, so that the ship was like to be broken. Then the mariners were afraid and cried every man unto his God, and cast forth the wares that were in the ship into the sea to lighten it of them but jonah was da gone down in the sides of the ship and he lay and he was fast asleep so the shipmaster came to him and said unto him what meanest thou o sleeper arise call upon your god if so be that god will think upon us that we perish not and they said everyone to his fellow come and let us cast lots that we may know for whose cause this evil is upon us so they cast lot, and the lot of uh, the lot fell upon Jonah. Then said they unto him, "Tell us, we pray you, for whose occupation cause, I mean, yeah, for whose cause this this evil is upon us? What is your occupation, and whence comest thou? What is your country, and of what people art thou?" And he said unto them, "I am in Hebrew, and I fear the Lord." The God of heaven, which has made the sea and the dry land. Then were the men exceedingly afraid. Right? So, so then once once he said that he fears Yahweh, that he was an Israelite, okay, that's when the people got really, really, really afraid. And said unto him, why hast thou done this? For the men knew that he he fled from the presence of the Lord because he told told them. Then said they that unto him, what shall we do unto you that the sea may be calm unto us for the, the sea wrought and was temp tempestuous. And he said unto them, take me up and cast me forth into the sea so that so the sea be calm unto you for I know that for my sake this great tempest is upon you. Okay, so see from the Lord, but it what is not possible, man. Okay, is the 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 scriptures in Ecclesiastes sixteen says, okay, the sinner shall not escape with his, his his spoils, and the patience of the godly shall not be frustrated. Make way for every work of mercy, for every man shall find according to his works. So if you are doing the right thing, you're going to be rewarded. But if you're doing the wrong thing, <laughs> the Lord is going to find that out. He's going to judge you. Okay? And you may get, get killed. Okay? Or whatever judgment that the Lord sees fit. Okay? So with that, I want to say Shalom.